Right, this is a quick video to help people remember the brachial plexus. A lot of people find this really challenging to, to learn, as did I. Um, but I invented a simple equation I call the brachial equation to help me remember um, the format and the anatomy of the brachial plexus. So this equation is C sigma x minus C over S minus C. I made this up, I call this the brachial equation. I find if I remember this equation, I can remember the brachial plexus. So I hope this is useful for some of you. I'm going to get, dive straight in and I'm going to show you the brachial plexus. So the first thing we need, we actually work through this backwards, is minus C over minus C. So there's a minus C over minus C. So already now we have our roots, and the brachial plexus is C5 to T1, so this will be nerve C5, nerve C6, cervical nerve 7, C8, and T1. And these would be the spinal roots. These combine in such a way that we have three trunks. The trunks are known as upper, middle, and lower. So here we have trunks. We have three trunks and we have five roots. The next thing we need to worry about is our x over s. We have our minus c over minus c. Now we need our x over s. So at this point we have a cross between the upper and middle trunk and we have an s between the middle and the lower trunk like so. And this stage is so I'll just correct that. This stage is known as divisions. And we have six divisions. Okay. Again we have three structures and at this stage they're known as chords. So we have three chords here and the chords are named lateral, posterior and middle. They're named on how they're orientated around the auxiliary artery of the arm. And at this stage we have our branching into the terminal branches or the peripheral nerves. So we have our X minus C over S minus C. Now we're going to form our sigma and our C. So to form the sigma we take a line off from the um, lateral cord like so and another line off from the medial cord and that's our sigma As you can see there's a sigma there which leaves us with our mini C so the posterior cord comes behind our sigma and forms our little back to front C and then we have the whole brachial plexus and of course this final group of structures, they're known as branches, terminal branches or peripheral nerves. And it's at this stage that we can name our peripheral nerves. So here we have the musculocutaneous nerve. The one here at the bottom is the ulnar nerve. The top of RC is the axillary nerve. The bottom of RC is the radial nerve. And here, the middle of our sigma is the medial nerve. So these are all our peripheral nerves. And there we have it, the brachial plexus. As you know, the reason we need to learn this is so we know that if a spinal nerve is taken out or damaged, we know what peripheral symptoms we're going to have. We know what peripheral nerves are going to be affected. So there we have it, the brachial equation. I've also got a nice mnemonic for you to help you remember what order these come in. Roots, trunks, divisions, cores and branches. And I'll show you that quickly. So we have roots, trunks, divisions, cords, branches. The mnemonic is really tired, drink, coffee, black. Roots, trunks, divisions, cords, branches. So there we have it. The brachial plexus, the brachial equation, an easy trick to try to remember how that structure um, works, and a mnemonic to remember the order of naming. 
in the brachial plexus. I hope that's helpful. Sorry about the bad handwriting. I'm holding a webcam and writing at the same time. But thanks very much.